I would like to publicly welcome here Attorney General Lynch and Deputy Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas, and to thank them for the very open, trustful, and constructive discussions we had. Europe and the United States are long-standing allies and partners. We are very close to each other. We are confronted with the same challenges. And this meeting today, this successful meeting, is one more proof how do we work together in front of these common challenges. European Union and the United States relations in the home affairs area are very strong and reflect the strategic character of our partnership. The joint statement we just adopted is another tangible and concrete example of how can we become more effective in upholding and defending our common values. Today, as you know, we focused uh, on three major topics in the Home Affairs area. First, managing migration and cracking down on, on migrant smugglers. Second, countering violent extremism. And third, fighting cybercrime. These are all burning issues for both the United States of America and Europe, involving many aspects of our cooperation. And of course, if we want to become more effective, we need to further strengthen, strengthen and enhance our cooperation. Our common work is already solid in the field of counterterrorism, where we established good cooperation mechanisms through Europol, in addition to our PNR agreement and our various joint working groups. On migration, we discussed ways to address the current challenges, especially on the issue of migrant smugglers. I very much appreciate the United States' interest and solidarity on this issue. In our effort to crack down on the network of smugglers, we welcome further cooperation on information sharing and developing better synergies when dealing with countries in Africa and Middle East. Our cooperation in the field of cybercrime is another good example of the effectiveness of our synergies. Our exchange of information led to the shutting down of many so-called darknet domains which distribute illegal goods worldwide. Of course, there were many other topics not explicitly mentioned in our agenda which were raised during our discussions, like visa reciprocity. This issue is very important for the European Union, and I sincerely hope that the full EU-US visa reciprocity will be reached soon. Other issues, like drugs or more efficient border checks, also require attention and will be the subject of our discuss discussions in the future. I'm more than confident that today's Riga statement will bring added impetus to our work. In uh, view of our next meetings in the United States later this year, I look forward to working closely with Attorney General Lintz, as well as with Deputy Homeland Security Secretary Magorgas. It is true to say that we have a lot of work ahead of us, but we are committed to move ahead in a spirit of friendship, solidarity, commitment, and determination to serve as in the beginning our common values. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Commissioner.